won and uh, you were part of the U.S. Cup champions with the Chicago Fire, right? And, yeah. And uh, was that kind of the same intensity as winning the undefeated championship in Berlin? Or was it? Um, well, unfortunately for me, I was injured at the time of the final, so I wasn't participating in the game or on the subs bench. Um, I did participate in the quarterfinals uh, where we beat Kansas City 2-1, and I, yeah, 2-1, or it was like 2-1 or 2-0, uh, and I started that game and helped the team, uh, played really well, uh, get the win for that. Um, so for me personally, it wasn't the same intensity, um, but of course afterwards in the locker room it was a lot of fun because guys were, you know, high-fiving each other and spraying champagne everywhere and having a blast. So in that sense, it was a little bit different because in college we couldn't have champagne. We were just spraying apple juice around. <laughs> That's kind of what we did when we won the region championship. How hard was it to make the decision to retire from professional soccer? Incredibly hard. Um it wasn't an easy one. I uh, all I wanted to do for a very long time, and that's what I was doing. And I was moving up the ladder and playing well. And uh, unfortunately for me, I was having injury issues, so I had two surgeries, and um, two surgeries, and it just got to the point where I wasn't the same player anymore. And I was only 80, 85 percent, just wasn't cutting it, and I was kind of moving down. And uh, it was tough. It was sad. Uh, wasn't an easy decision to make. So. Um, very hard, what? but I'm moving on to something new, and and I enjoy my new life, and you know I'm living a different type of dream, so it's not bad. I don't I don't have regrets. I gave everything I had, and of course it was out of my control. Sometimes that's what happens. I I had a really nice question, but I just forgot it in my head. But uh, right. do, you, do you follow the MLS MLS soccer? You watch the game? Yeah. Stay up to date. Yeah, yeah. Stay very up to date. I blog, uh, as you might know, I blog yeah. almost every day. I have another guy blogging for me. Um, he's a big soccer fan. We post all the highlights. I try to watch as many games as I can. Of course, I can't always watch every game, but uh, I try to watch a lot of the games. Real Salt Lake, good team. Um, yeah, I keep up to it. I, I keep up to date a lot with MLS, with WPS, and with the USSF two D two league. Um, I try to keep as up to date as possible. And do and, uh, you think you can give us a little prediction who you think could be the champion this year? Because obviously we think it's going to be Real Salt Lake, you know, but, <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah. there's like two games left in the year before those playoffs end. Do you have a favorite? Well, normally my heart's always with Chicago Fire, but uh, they're kind of struggling a bit this year. So uh, I'm happy to see Real Salt Lake doing really well. A couple of buddies on that team. I've interviewed a couple of people on that team. I'm a big fan of Jason Price, uh, Will Johnson, Kyle Beckerman. Happy to see y'all doing so well. I don't know, between you guys, L.A., and New York coming on strong, it's, it's going to be a toss-up. I don't know. I think I think you guys are playing some quality soccer. So I'll, my, my pick will go to Real Salt Lake. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, is that just to make us happy? <laughs> or do you think? All right. No, 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 no. I'm, um, I'm, I'm, ha I'm happy for I'm happy for Real Salt Lake having such a great season, especially after they won it last year. And some people were like, "Well, they didn't have the best season, but they played really well in the playoffs." It's nice to see them really having such a great season, a great season, and really backing up you know the quality team that they are. Yeah. We do want to thank you for taking the time off your busy life. To you know, be on this show of ours. And yeah. Thanks. All right. Well, appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me on. Ah, and Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Eduardo wants to know. He was afraid to ask you if you have a uh, a PO box that you can send things to. No, I just have an ad I just have an address. Oh. Why you want to mail me something? Yeah, he wanted. You guys want to mail me a you guys one guest T-shirt or something? We actually do have a Two Guys, yeah. One Guest t-shirt. Yeah, it actually is really nice. We did want to mail you one. It has a Two Guys, One Guest t-shirt and a... Uh, and uh Support breast cancer! Yeah, support it! Woo!
What a great interview. What yeah. a great interview. Hopefully you guys great. enjoy that. That that PG. Kept the PG, you know. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jared Monster, just for you. Uh, this was a great interview. Great guy. Uh, great publicity for our show. Uh, very nice guy. Uh, he also he has that uh, as you might have heard he has that Jared Monster online soccer academy. Yep. So great uh -huh. for you to take. If you guys want to join it, you know, no matter what age, I think, I don't know. Just go to uh, www.jmsoccer10.com. Right here. Also, visit Jared Mont's channel because he has a show called Mont's TV. So make sure to visit it and click right here. Right there. Right here. This square. Click, click right on it. Click right there. Or click on Eddie's logo. Click on it. And you go, will be able to go to his uh, YouTube page and see all the great videos that he makes. And subscribe to him and all that. All that nice, all that nice yeah. stuff. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you to all our viewers, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, there will be no time for shoutouts today. It's too long. Because we don't have anybody to shout out anymore. You know, no one, no one adds us on Facebook anymore. We have 120 fans, which is a lot more. Yeah, be our friend. And uh, this Saturday, me and Eddie will be going to the Real Salt Lake game. And we will be doing uh, some footage. Trying to document a little footage for uh, two guys, one guest. Trying to be, um, do the whole thing, you know? So, yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody! Woo! See you next time! Was <laughs> that successful? I didn't even make contact. I know, but I did. <laughs>